A little tricky question. It took me a while. It's actually part B that's the hard question. Part A is, will he make it to top, yes or no, and how do you know that? Well, he's got kinetic energy just as he's about to run out of gas. So you've got one half mv squared. You know his velocity, in this case, is 13 meters per second. You know the mass of the kilogram. And you're going to set that equal to the height of the hill that he's going to have to climb, mgh. Your h is can or m is cancel, pardon me. You know the height of the hill. It looks like it's 5 meters. You're going to solve, uh, you know, the velocity. You want to solve, actually solve for the height. You want to see if you get to 5. And when I did the math, what I get? Um, I think I got 8 meters. So he could climb to 8 meters, and obviously 5 is less than 8. So therefore, he makes it to the top. So that's part A. But the trick is certainly part B. Because the question is, is um, what's the car's speed coasting down the other side? So you want to find the speed on the other side. So it's all about keeping track of the energy. So the first thing I had to find is what is his velocity at the top of the hill? All right, so what is his velocity at the top of the hill? What I had to do was, how did I do this? I said 1 half mv squared. That's the energy that he had at the beginning equals... 1 half m, this is v1 initial, and this is v2 squared. I'm trying to find v2 squared. But also, you've got some energy of mgh. So now he's up 5 meters. This is 5, this is 9.8. All your m's are going to cancel. And so when you do the math right here, you're solving for v2. We know this is 13. And you're trying to find what his velocity is at the top of the hill. And when you get the velocity at the top of the hill, his velocity has decreased from 13 to 8.4 meters per second. So when you plug all the numbers in, you get 8.4 meters per second. But that's his velocity, too, if you will, at the top of the hill. But now he is coasting down the hill. So he's going to go all the way down. And he's going to go down 10 more meters. He's at a hill of 5. And he's going to end up at 5 more meters. And so I had to do another set of equations. So I'm going to have to say 1 half mv squared, where this not isn't, is now 8.4, right? And he's got the energy of being on a 10-meter tall hill, mgh, where h is now 10. And we're going to set that equal to 1 half mv, let's call this 3 squared, his final speed at the bottom of the hill. You're going to solve for this, you know all the other numbers, solving for v3, if you will, will give you the correct 